Okay, so Jake Gardner's agents in Toronto, uh, probably, hopefully talking about the contract extension. I like Jake Gardner. Uh, Something over his points for the last three years is plus minus. Obviously, that's not a huge thing in today's game, but I just want to prove a point here. So, three years ago, we, in 82 games, he had nine goals, 34 assists, and 43 points. Pretty decent uh, year for a defenseman. Two years ago, 82 games, five goals, uh, 47 assists, and 52 points. Obviously, the goals went down, but the assists went way up. And this year, 51 games, two goals, 25 assists for 27 points. We would like him to get a few more goals. Uh, assists is good, so he's going to get around 40 to 45 points, I'm saying. Uh, three years ago, plus 24. Last year, plus 9. And this year, plus 19. Uh, obviously, he's been paired with Nikita Zaitsev the last two years. And a lot of the year before, but uh, Riley kind of shared duties with him. Zaitsev, three years ago, minus 22. Last year, plus 8, so he was a plus 8, Gardner is a plus 9. And then this year, he's a plus 1, and we all can agree he's been paired with Gardner a lot this year, where he's a plus 1, Gardner's a plus 9. So, obviously, when Jake gets away from Nikita, uh, good things happen for him. He's a plus 18 more. Uh, obviously, it's not a huge stat, but uh, that really shows that when he's not on Nikita's eighth of line, it generally goes very well for him. Uh... We've all been mad at those two for quite a long, probably a lot of the season. Uh, obviously, Jake's had some booze from the fans, which I don't think is warranted. Uh, it does not help that he's with Nikita, obviously. Maybe he just doesn't feel as secure with him, especially right now. Uh, last year, they played pretty decent together. Gardner, obviously, 52 points, career high. This year, he's still got putting up the points, uh, but obviously, people... Don't think he's doing as good of a job. So why, why would Toronto want to resign him? I guess. Uh, what's the cap hit? They're saying if he hits the open market, it's gonna be about six to seven million. Probably six point two five, six point five would be uh, the range for him. He's gonna be a forty to fifty point defenseman for quite a few more years. He's twenty eight, so a little bit just at ending the his prime years, but he should be able to put forty to fifty points. Uh, on the Leafs, he's going to have to make a lot less than that right now. He's making around $4 million. You would like to see him maybe 4 or $5 million. And the only way they resign him is obviously if they ship out somebody. So Zaitsev, hopefully, I mean, it's going to be very hard to trade that contract. Uh, Connor Brown, he's making two point one. Uh, very easy guy to trade. He put up 20 goals. Obviously, hasn't really played that well. Not recently, but uh, he could definitely put up some points maybe in the future. And, uh... So yeah, they, they want to resign him. Probably about seven years, six, seven years at five million. They can do maybe. Um, that's a really big hometown discount for him. He can easily get six, six and a half on the open market. Uh, but if he loves Toronto, as it's been said that he loves Toronto, uh, then maybe uh, he does resign, and we can learn to love him if he gets away from that bite of as a D partner, uh, maybe put uh, German on them. I'd like to see him and German together. Uh, it would probably be more secure for him. German's a really good skater, so if they get in trouble, they can both get back in quite a hurry. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you think they should resign him, if you think they should trade him for the deadline, and if you think uh, they should just let him walk out into free agency, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.